Uh, my name is Liz. I am 27 years old. I am from the Netherlands. And now I live in Kenya, in Kisumu, here with my husband. Yeah, my name is uh, Ronnie. Uh, I'm 31 years old. I live in Kisumu with Liz. And uh, we are happy. <laughs> yeah, we are happy. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, okay. Um, yeah, it was it was okay growing up in the Netherlands. Um, yeah. um, I have two sisters. I'm the firstborn, um, so my sisters follow me. So we went to primary school. We all went to the same primary school. For us, we don't do boarding, so we went back and forth every day. Um, then I went to high school. In the Netherlands, we start working at young age. We start working at around 15, 16. We do part-time jobs. So I worked in the supermarket for a little bit and in the library. And then uh, I went to university. So I went to university in the Netherlands for my undergrad and then my master's in South Africa. I did uh, international studies for my bachelor's with a specialization in Africa studies. And my master's, I did international relations in South Africa. The first time I went to Africa I was 18 or 19 and I went to Zambia to volunteer um, for two times I went there and then I really liked it so much I said okay I need to do something with this so I did my international studies bachelor with a specialization in Africa studies and Swahili and then I came back uh, to Africa for my internship in Kisumu. Yeah, well, I did Africa studies, so mm. I had a lot of information about Africa, about the different politics, culture, everything. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know much about Kenya in specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of like that, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because I knew Zambia. So I, I was familiar with some of the culture. Zambia is not too different culturally from, from Kenya, I think. Um, yeah, so it was pretty much a little bit what I expected. Uh, I was here for three months on an internship and the people I was working with it was in a rural area so at night nothing happened yeah. people were just reading books <laughs> going to bed early nine maybe ten and I was I was young I was 20 21 yeah. I wanted to go out I wanted to see because in Zambia I, I, I went out a lot and I, I really liked it so I, I told my my colleagues we need to do something yeah. we, we need to I don't want to sit here every night and read books. I mm -hmm. can't do that. Yeah. So my friend said, okay, well, let's go to town, we meet some people. So that particular night, uh, we were invited by someone mm -hmm. to a party. And we said, ah, but tonight we are tired. But uh, we just decided to go. And we were there, and we were having a good time. And then you came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he entered the room. Uh -huh. hmm? yeah. Who noticed who? Oh, <laughs> who noticed who? I don't know. I think I had noticed you. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and you noticed me before because when I looked at you, you were already looking at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Who approached? Yeah, I think I, I approached. No, you were, you were cheating. Yes, uh, I approached in a fishy way. How was it? Because, uh, yeah. yeah, I pretended my phone was uh, dying and. Uh, it there was a, to charge a next socket to next to her, so I, I went there like asked her if I could charge mm -hmm. my phone there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she agreed and it started up the conversation. So we started talking and it was nice. Yeah, then I offered to teach her how to dance. And, and it's I a have, bad dance, yeah, it's a very bad dance. I have two <laughs> left feet. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm so bad at dancing, but I try, at least I he try. He said, I can teach you how to dance. Yeah, I yeah, said, so, okay. Yeah, okay. So he stands up and he's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You gonna teach me how to dance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the danced. Moves. Yeah. yeah. And then we had a few drinks. Then we had some nice conversations. Yeah, we were, I was with other friends there, so it was nice. And uh, we exchanged numbers. Yeah, we exchanged numbers. It was nothing much mm -hmm. at the first time, mm -hmm. but yeah, we liked each other. We had a very nice conversation together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Party was over then. Yeah, so the he started texting me when he was leaving the party. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, he texted yeah. me all night. Yeah, that's all. Because he went to like, the club. Yeah, yeah, I went. Uh, I think I left you there. 
Mm. Yeah, because uh, we were still going somewhere else with my friends and I wanted to know if they are joining us or if uh, they are just going home after the party. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was how it happened. I was also not supposed to come to this party. Yeah, but I was uh, uh, invited with a friend and I was also the same person who supplied chicken in that party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the next day I texted you because yeah. we went to look for cars. Yeah, so uh, I in, before uh, I was doing chicken and also partly uh, selling tracking devices for cars. And, and uh, I suddenly needed a car. Yeah, I had a lot of relationship with car dealers mm -hmm. and yeah, in the in the city. Mm -hmm. So she told me she needed a car, and I told them like, yeah, yeah, I know some car dealers. I can help you out. Go uh, get a nice car. I I'm waited also, for you for thirty minutes. Yeah, then they yeah, and I, I'm also I I like cars. I know uh, good cars. Yeah. So then uh, we met to go to. Look for a car. Look for the car. Eventually, the car was not bought. I didn't even have money for a car. It was an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you also cheated. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I cheated. Like I, I, I really need to look at cars. Hmm. Uh -huh. Manifesting. Uh -huh. Manifesting. Yeah. Maybe is what you call it. And he's like, yeah, I can take you. Okay, yeah. take me. <laughs> yeah, so after that we went. Uh, uh, we went we for a date. Yeah, we went for first date. Yeah, then uh, first date came, second date, then third date, and many dates, and mm. we liked each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What attracted you to her? <laughs> what did oh. like one? Physical ah. attraction. Physical. What did you get attracted Physical to her? Physical attraction. Uh -huh. She had a very nice short hair. Right now it's it very a, ugly. A bit long. No, I went to a hairdresser here and he didn't know how to cut Nzungu hair, so it was. <laughs> yeah, for me, I like uh, you had a nice short hair, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, and a very beautiful smile. Uh -huh. When she smiles, at least yeah. you see like it's all out, and yeah. you see all, all her teeth. teeth. Uh -huh. I'm like a yeah. challenge. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, what yeah. attracted you? He was. Uh, he has dimples. I like the dimples. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I I liked his eyes. I think the eyes are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Now you're getting shy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I love that he is very patient and very kind. Like he has a very good heart, I think. And he makes me laugh. Until I cry. Ah. Yeah, it makes me laugh. I don't know about other people, but hey, me, it makes me laugh. <laughs> so... <laughs> I try. She was very kind too, at heart. <laughs> and uh, understanding, because at that time when we met... Uh, you had no money. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very broke. and But I had a vision. Yeah. Uh, mostly the people that I told about, I was just starting up KPF. Mm. And... Uh, a lot of the people that I told about KPF, uh, most of them didn't believe in it, but she believed a lot in it, and yeah, uh, she also uh, helped me a lot with a lot of things, uh, advice, we talked and shared a lot, advised each other, that's what I really liked about her, and yeah, and uh, she was very sweet to me mm -hmm. at all times, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have I dated a black guy before? Um? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Spill the secrets. <laughs> I'm not gonna spill too many secrets, but <laughs> I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have I dated a white guy before her? Huh? No. Okay. So it was the first experience, right? Yeah. How was it like dating life? Uh, very challenging. Mm -hmm. because yeah, because uh, it was long distance. It was long distance. I was very poor at time management and you Your know, family didn't like me. Yeah, she's on Zoom. <laughs> we meet in 30 minutes. We meet in 30 minutes. I go up there after one, one hour. Mm -hmm. She's so angry at me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those kind of challenges. But yeah, we... It was more of understanding each other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was... It was. I liked it. It was good. Mm -hmm. But we didn't date for so long. Because mm -hmm. we were together for a few months. And then it was long distance, and then I came back and we moved in together. 
so there was not much dating. Okay. I think I would have liked to date more. Baby girl treatment. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, reaction from your friends when they realized you're dating Ronnie? Mm. No, me, I was always in love with everyone. So they, they, it's past, they didn't believe it was serious. Serious. Uh -huh. But then they met him. Some of them uh, we, we, we met on phone. And uh, yeah, they liked him a lot. So they were quite supportive, I have to say. I don't think there's any friend that is not being supportive to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our friends have been supportive. Very supportive, yeah. yeah. Both of your friends, right? Yeah. Mm. Your friends were not so supportive, yeah? Uh, I don't because think suddenly so. you didn't club so much anymore. Yeah, but they were supportive of the relationship. That is what is important. Uh -huh. yeah. They were? Mm -hmm. Well, they, you know, that last part I didn't tell them at first. Uh, it was a problem because I was at his place. And uh, my parents are very conservative. So you don't go to men's places. And I told him, my mom was calling, video calling, and I told him, stay away from my phone because my mom is calling and she will know, she will know, she will see that this is not the house I'm in, no way. she will, s and this walks mm -hmm. behind me, you know, in, in the, in the, straight into the, uh, the, the camera, mama's like, who's that? It's like, yeah, it's a, it, it's a friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing there? Why are you not at home? Where is your colleagues? Yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a guy I met, we, 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 we seen each other. She hung up the phone like that. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to talk to me for a little bit. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. uh, she, she can't keep quiet. Maybe it was a few days or a week or so. Yeah. What? My dad didn't say much, but he, uh, when he met you for the first time, he took you for a serious walk. Right? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I know, like it was the first time going to the Netherlands and meeting the family. Oh. Yeah, so I went to their house and uh, the dad was uh, like, okay, Ronnie, let's go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, so we went for a walk, two of us, uh, getting grilled a bit, like, what do you do? <laughs> Do you like my daughter? What do you want with my what daughter? What do you want with my daughter? <laughs> Are you going to treat, treat her right? Yeah, yeah, those kind of questions. But it was it was okay. Yeah, I think uh, he appreciated that I was serious, and uh, yeah, I was uh, I had a vision, and uh, most important thing, uh, I loved her. So, mm. Yeah. Oh, my parents already knew. Like you know, our rumors go through in Kenya. After two weeks they're calling. What are you doing with that Mzungu? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, for my I don't I didn't even have to break the news to them because uh, mm -hmm. there was a lot of gossip going on from the family, my yeah, my cousins and also aunties. Yeah. The very bad news so that I was uh, dating an old Mzungu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah Liz was old and <laughs> very old very mm -hmm. old like i was dating and zungu was very old around the in her 50s. in her 50s so oh, yeah good for you those moments yeah it was it was tough uh, but i believe i knew what i knew who liz was so i knew i know what i want in my life and yeah i, I don't think they they bothered those kind of information bothered me a lot mm -hmm. yeah uh, to the point that we even went for a family function, one of my cousin's graduation, and I think my aunt came to her and told her like, oh, people are so bad, what did she say? No, no, she opened the door for me and she told me, you are so young! <coughs> Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, <coughs> why is this woman telling me I'm young? I know that I'm young. Oh, okay. And, and then, then Ronnie didn't tell me, he's late he told me like, oh, because people are gossiping, they're saying that you're very old. I didn't know about it. Oh. And then yeah. she opened the door, she was shocked. Which <laughs> Mamamze. Yeah. So you are a Mamamze. Mamamze. Yeah, I was oh. dating a Mamamze. How was it for you, Liz? Like, his, 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 his family was not supportive. It was very hard because I was far away from home. Mm -hmm. I was alone. Mm. And then the place that you are supposed to find a new home mm. doesn't want you. So it was hard mm -hmm. for a very long time. Mm. Mm. Okay.
fighting. After fighting these battles of families and all those things, what point? <laughs> yeah, it was after we had moved in together, and uh, yeah, we did a lot of things together, and uh, I think for me, I knew earlier, way much earlier, even when we were still dating, that I wanted to settle down with her because for me I'd say that I was uh, I felt ready yeah but she was still in school uh, she was young so yeah I didn't I didn't want to rush it yeah because also she had told me that she doesn't want to <laughs> get married she doesn't want to get married like you were like, not ma you were not ready for marriage no, I was not interested she, in no, marriage she at not, all. She, did, she didn't want to get married at all. So it was I, not I a said goal like, in my okay. life. What yeah. made you change your mind? No, you didn't. Funny, you would feel like How did you feel uh, so that you changed your mind? So uh, I remember, because for us, we meet the parents-in-law early in the relationship. Even if you're not sure you want to marry, you, see, Junior, yeah. you just meet because you're a part of each other's life, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm asking you, why am I not meeting your parents? And oh, yeah. And you know, for us, we meet parents very yeah. early. And he yeah. told me, "Okay, you want to meet my parents? We can go meet my parents." Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering why is it so heavy for him? Yeah. And then he's telling me, "But if I introduce you to my parents, I have to marry you." <laughs> yeah. okay. uh -huh. so, oh, then I'm not ready for that. Let's let's wait with that. But you were ready. Yeah. 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 It was about culture differences. Yeah. 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 The proposal. Uh, I remember there was a time I told you, okay, if you still want to marry me, I'm ready now. Cindy. And, uh, and then I told I told her that I don't want to marry you. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> said me, I don't want right now. Like you were for marriage, you're not for marriage, well. Yeah. But he, he, really want, he really knew what he wanted. He knew he wanted me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he knew I wanted to marry you, but then you said that. So also, I, I was also playing dumb also playing dumb telling her that uh, i don't want to marry her yeah so then we booked a holiday our first ever holiday to yeah. lamu and we were so happy and then i asked her are you going to propose to me in lamu and then he said ah no I i'm done i'm done with that no yeah. no <laughs> okay then there was a time he went missing in nairobi he forgot to tell me that uh, he was buying for me an engagement ring so I, me I just knew this man is in Nairobi or in Kisuma I don't know where he is I can't reach him turns out he was buying the engagement ring right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then uh, we went to Lamu we we're having a good time then we are eating in uh, a big hotel called Majlis Hotel mm -hmm. it's a nice atmosphere and suddenly he's there on one knee <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. were you excited? I didn't know what to say. Mm -hmm. What happened? I was like, <gasps> Yeah, you are very, I think you are happy, you are emotional. I was very emotional. You cried mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you not afraid that she might say no? I knew she was not going to say no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was uh, very happy. It was nice. Uh, yeah, emotional. Uh, I was happy and. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things going into my mind that yeah now you've done it you proposed <laughs> now, you now you need to you need to make the final arrangement you need to marry you, this is the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with are you ready for that you know there's a lot of questions coming in your mind after you proposed even after yeah. you say yes you're like okay yeah. it's only one now yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is it yeah uh -huh. yeah oh my god the wedding, the wedding was chaos. Was a headache. Planning yeah. the wedding was <laughs> hell because COVID started. Yeah. Okay. So every time we pick a date, COVID, COVID, we yeah. move it, we pick another date, COVID, we pick another date, and we say, okay, this is it. My family couldn't make it because of COVID. So that was sad. Yeah. But uh, we had a beautiful wedding. Yeah. yeah. It was nice. Uh, the same place that you proposed? Yeah, the same place I proposed. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had uh, support from a few friends mm -hmm. and family as well. Mm -hmm. so, but the actual planning, we fought a lot while we were planning. We divided tasks. There are some things I was supposed to do. He didn't do his tasks. I was late with my tasks, and <laughs> she was uh, through with all her tasks. 
So I told her, don't worry, the ultimate goal is the wedding is going to happen. I told um, him I'm never doing another wedding again. I'm going to make sure that never. my task are complete. Yeah. The, the day, day before, before the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> like he had to pick music. He was still downloading the morning of the wedding. Oh, okay. But it was good. Yeah. It was good. What's yeah, important it... is you getting married. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. I think we have we had uh, it was the most beautiful wedding I've ever been to. Yeah. And it was our wedding. Yes. Mm. I've never been to a, such a beautiful wedding. Yes. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Confident now. Even after like if you just look go through our gallery our wedding pictures mm -hmm. like it was all joy everyone was smiling like it was the ambience was good yeah, yeah. and because we did it far away people came even a few days before that yeah. so we had dinners had together yeah, lunch had, together swimming yeah. together yeah mm -hmm. so it was like a, a beautiful weekend mm -hmm. yeah my parents uh, have never been to a holiday together mm -hmm. so it was in Lamo again yeah and uh, they loved it they took a play yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm. first the idea of the wedding that we're having in Chitulam mm. no one wanted to my parents didn't want us to have a wedding no one now. wanted to come <laughs> no one wanted to come so we said fine then yeah, we just so do it the two uh, of yeah us. we just do it if uh, those people were coming let them come if, uh, mm -hmm. the people who don't want to come yeah a lot of friends didn't mm. come mm -hmm. uh, and then also only one cousin <laughs> one cousin of mine came. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We, had, we fun. had a beautiful we had day. A, a beautiful time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It was so, nice. How was it for you? I mean, that you're getting married with no, with no family. No it was life. hard. It was hard. It was very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. But there comes a time when you have to yeah, say either thing. me or other people. Yeah. And this time it was us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, Loni, you said your parents, your family, didn't wanted you to date, right? How did you convince them now that you want to get married and then to come to, to your wedding? Yeah, you know, it's <coughs> point. Point. I think sometimes it's just you just have to choose what you want yeah. as a person. Sure. Yeah, to a big point to not like once you are an adult, mm -hmm. you're not a kid anymore and yeah. you make your own decisions. Yeah. So I chose to live with this one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it had to be known that it was hard that I'm living with. And it's your decision. Yeah, and it's my decision. It's not about them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, with time, as soon as long as you do your own thing, yeah. with time, people learn to understand that, oh, okay, yeah. it's yeah. like this now. It's about me, not yeah. about yes. the community. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's been tough, but it's I was not for marriage before, but but, but it was yeah. a good thing that we yeah, did. I like part. being your wife. Oh. Yeah, mm. I love being your husband too. Mm. Oh. Uh, who paid the dowry? Because now we understand the culture difference. Mm. In Kenya, men pay dowry to their wives. Yeah. And your culture is the same? No, we don't do dowry. Yeah. No dowry in no, the Netherlands. No. So, yeah, dowry is like an insult to. It's not an insult, but it would be strange. It would be strange. It would be like, I think uh, uh, your parents Selling told mother. me, like, it, it, it feels like you're being sold to me. Yeah. When I'm I'm paying for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm my own person. Yeah. So he didn't pay dowry. I didn't want it. But uh, your mom is still calling me and she's saying she's gonna bring a cow to the Netherlands. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah. We'll so see. the culture difference too. Yeah. It was hard. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it was so hard. Yeah. It's still hard sometimes. It's still yeah. hard sometimes. Mm. How are how are you adapting to the culture differences now? In the beginning, I wanted to adapt to everything mm -hmm. because I felt I'm in Kenya. I yeah. should behave like Kenyans. Mm -hmm. But at some point, I realized I can't do this. Can't be a I can't Kenyan. do this. I'm not a Kenyan woman. I'm not someone who just cooks and cleans and then, the, you know, we need yeah. to share those things. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah I'm my own person now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been to the Netherlands uh, six times. The first time was in 2017. 2017. While you were dating? Mm. Yeah. And I had to go and. Uh, uh, he needed to see where I was from. See where oh. she was living and meet the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've been. Yeah, and then after well. that, I've been going to to the Netherlands to visit the family for Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And friends. Yeah. Any plans to relocate to Netherlands some days? Maybe. Maybe someday. Yeah, maybe, but uh, no plan yet. No plan. No plan. Yeah. Okay. How do people describe your marriage? I don't 
don't know. Maybe you know that better than me. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. You know, people have a lot of uh, a lot of opinions. Opinions yeah. about yeah. Interracial marriage. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How is it? Yeah. So I don't know. I, the idea when I tell uh, some of my friends and other people that we share tasks in the house. Yeah, like. Yeah, I have to cook. Mm. They're like, yeah, mm. I have to clean yeah. the house. Mm -hmm. I have to do laundry. Mm. Yeah. It's not fair. We're working on the same business. Why should I go home and do all the work? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's, there. it's about culture difference. Mm. I don't see any problem there. Yeah. No, but I think uh, most friends and family, they, they like our marriage a lot. Yeah, and uh, they I have think, faith uh, in us. They have faith in us. They are very supportive. Okay. Yeah. They know what we've been through. So yeah. the love is coming. Eh? It's coming. Yeah. yeah. It's coming. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a journey. Yeah? Mm. Mm. So challenges of interracial marriages, maybe three, three. Three challenges, three challenges. Maybe language barrier, maybe culture difference, mm. food. Mm. Language is not an issue for me because mm -hmm. I speak Swahili. So um, there was another one last week. For example, at work, the way we work, I work very structured with a planning, with goals. He does whatever feels he needs to be doing on that particular day. And I find it very hard to work with because I need my goals mm -hmm. to work with your goals. Yeah. Right? So that's one for me. The other one is timekeeping. Kenyans. Kenyans. <laughs> he likes to be late, I like to be on time, but it's a, it's, it's a normal one, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is for us, we, we like being home in our culture. Home is like a nice place to be. You make it nice with pictures, candles, whatever you can find in Kenya. I find that a bit different. Mm. You never want to come home mm. at night. <laughs> what? You want to go see your friends. To, mm -hmm. to, oh, you know Shay? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not the truth? Mm -hmm. Not every day. No, no, no. That, and then uh, maybe you would stay out until 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where are you? It's like, why should I tell you? Mm -hmm. Because I'm waiting for you. I want to know that you're okay. Mm. Yeah. But nowadays it's different. I think yeah, yeah. you like being home now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that was then. But now but it's, now it's okay. Mm. And challenges of encourage humanity? Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, yeah, what, what kind of challenges? Maybe food she likes, maybe you don't like the differences. Uh, yeah. Do you think I'm very expensive? Not really. Oh. Yeah, I'll say like in terms of food, uh, yeah, because in our culture we eat ugali and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now because she doesn't like ugali, now there's no unga in that in that house. Yeah. So we just have to cook rice, pasta. Yeah, and uh, some some of the some of the uh, European meals, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I came to like them. They are, one thing that I love about it. It's uh, very nutritious and uh, yeah, it's very healthy. So what is your challenge with me? Uh, the mm. challenge with you is uh, what I'll say. Like you're very strict. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, sometimes I just want to do yeah, things yeah. unstructured and plan. Let's do this and this, yeah. And you want to plan everything, so it's 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 very difficult, you know. You you'll see even in the office, my desk is very organized. Yeah. Ronnie's desk has papers <laughs> everywhere, yeah. and then I get frustrated because I don't understand how you can work like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> challenge. Um, yeah. Another challenge is uh, maybe during uh, dinner. Yeah, you know, I had to learn to have a conversation over a meal because for us, mostly when you're eating, you keep quiet and you focus on the food. Uh -huh. And uh, when I went to the Netherlands, uh -huh. the culture is very different. Like you get to talk to, to, the, to the family, you get to know each other and you get to like speak and tell how your day was do over dinner. Yeah, like dinner is like an interactive session, it's not just sitting and eating. Yeah. My family was asking me, what is wrong with your boyfriend? He doesn't talk. <laughs> yeah. So that was a bit of a challenge, mm. but I came to learn about it. Yeah.
I think the other challenge is in, in Kenya, you can yeah. send someone to do something for you. Yeah. And you say it in a very directing way, like, fire Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Like, do this. Uh -huh. yeah. For us, you I can say, I I I I I would you please do this? That's how we would say it. So Roni would, or I felt like I was being ordered around. Oh. Give me this, do this, wear your sweater. To yeah. the point that I told him, I can wear my own sweater. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I had a lot of fights with your sisters. Yeah, he sent my sisters for his charger and they're asking me, are we his delivery boy or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's just like a difference in uh, how, how yeah, you say things and yeah, how you structure your sentences. Yeah, yeah and, we, and we don't see the last born as being less important. We are all equals. So yeah. you cannot send your last born. Yeah. I think I like this. Yeah. Mm. Type of culture. Yeah. 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 So you say like, if you want to send someone, could you please? Please, please. Yeah, please. you have to ask and request in a nice way. Yeah. Mm. So those are some of the challenges that I had to adapt to. Okay. Yeah. Hi, message you have to interracial couples. Yeah, maybe I can just say it's hard to be an interracial couple. It's just hard. No matter how you twist or turn it, it's difficult. So you're not the only one that has a difficult time. And you're not crazy if you're the only one in a new country and the whole country behaves in a certain way and you want to do it differently. It just means you have a different view on things. And the only thing that can solve it is to talk to each other. Yeah. And to say, this, this is how it makes me feel. I think that's, that's the big thing for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah for me, I, I'll say like it's a lot of uh, support. Uh, because it's, it's it's very challenging and hard like you say mm. and uh, i'll say like being an interracial couple is also very special because you have to uh, understand a whole like it's you you're putting yourself in a whole new world that mm. you you never know uh, knew before yeah yeah so just uh, uh, support one another and understand each other and always be open to anything Communication too. Yeah. Communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Message you have for a white girl. Maybe you want to date a black guy from Kenya. Maybe if she wants to live here, there's a lot of People are people, no matter of their skin color. Mm. So, yeah. I don't think I have a particular message for that. Kenyan man. Kenyan man. Mm -hmm. Depends on your tribe now, because I do. I just know Luo people. Gen okay, but yeah. Luo men, uh, Luo mothers like to baby their men. I think. <laughs> so, be prepared that you're dealing with something else. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> no, if I can say that. Understand where maybe uh, is their partner coming from first, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I think all mothers in like to baby there. No, but Kenyan mothers are different. <laughs> mm -hmm. In my opinion, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my in my whole life I felt like I've always done things on my own because I made my own decisions and I was regarded as the black sheep because I never, I, I didn't take any instructions. Yeah, so I don't think that is uh, being baby. No, maybe baby is the wrong word. Yeah. Mm. Involved. Yeah. Do you think they know it was best for you? Yeah, involved. Mm. Yeah. I'll say like uh, uh, they need to be very patient with uh, them mm. and also understand uh, the culture as well. Yeah and uh, be be more open to new new ideas and new cultures okay. yeah do you know how to cook any Kenyan food yeah i can cook ugali what else that's about it mm. Chukuma, i can cook Chukuma. which food do you like most yeah i like uh, i like gideri you like gideri <laughs> ah Aya, when you say good food, you like it there. I really like it there. Yeah. You like it there. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some fun games here. Of who knows you better. Okay. Okay. okay? <laughs> 
So first of all, who said I love you first? Mm -hmm. Who is the best gifter? Mm -hmm. Who is more romantic? Who is the messy one? <laughs> Who is more busy? Who is more stubborn? You, you are stubborn. Who is most likely to admit when they, they do wrong? You never Both. admit. I admit, you never admit, too. admit. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the better cook? Me. Of course. <laughs> Who spends money more? Me. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is most likely to forget important dates? You. Mm -hmm. Who is most likely to forget the first kiss? No, that one you don't forget. You don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to get upset over small inconvenience? <laughs> Who is the best dancer? Me. <laughs> I am your teacher. <laughs> Remember, you are a very bad teacher. <laughs> who, is, who is most likely to be dramatic? <laughs> Who is more jealous? You. I'm not jealous. You're very jealous. Oh, I'm not jealous. <laughs> Who is more affectionate? Me. 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 No. You always forget I'm there sometimes. No, it's okay. <laughs> Who is most likely to be arrested? Aya, do you have kids? No. No. Any plans to have kids? We'll see. Yeah. Oh, future plans. Yeah. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I think you've captured it. Yeah, you've captured it. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I think uh, maybe I'll say we are we are more adaptive to a lot of things, and uh, we are easy. Uh, we don't have. Uh, we interact with everyone. Mm. Yeah, all the way from the top level CEOs mm. to people on the streets. Mm. Yeah, because uh, our office is next to a matatu stage mm -hmm. and uh, we really have nice conversations <laughs> with the condas. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think we are uh, we, we we don't judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't judge. We don't we judge. Try not to judge. Yeah. And uh, we we accept people for who they are. Mm -hmm. We listen to people and we are always very supportive of uh, other people's ideas mm. as much as we support our own ideas and yeah that is what people should know about us yeah but what would you love us to remember you for the individual yeah uh, someone who's uh, very supportive and uh, with a lot of has a lot of kindness yeah i was people. going to say the same yeah that we were kind. I hope people remember that. Yeah, we've always been kind to people. We've tried, yes. Yeah. And you raise? Yeah, I think that's the message I wanted to, the same yeah. thing I wanted to say. Yeah. I hope people remember our kindness. Your kindness. Mm. Mm. Okay. Individual message to the people around the world. Around the world, yeah. yeah. Just that uh, it's nice that a lot of people are interested in who we are, in yeah. our relationship. I didn't expect that when we started dating, but a lot of people find our story very inspiring. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah so thank you for your interest in us. Yeah. And we hope maybe we inspire some people that are also facing the same difficulties that we've been facing. Just know that you're not alone and you can do it. Uh, I think it's uh, more or less the same from what Lisa said. Uh, just. Uh, just say uh, uh, thank you to everyone uh, for the support sometimes you always feel that you are alone but uh, people are always out there to listen to you and uh, to support you it's just that uh, we tend to put ourselves in a place where in a place that doesn't feel right and uh, once you just let go and open up things will always and you trust your instinct things will always be yeah don't good isolate and, yeah and work yeah. out so where can people find you? 
So we are starting a YouTube channel. Yeah, we are very excited about yes, it. Yes, because people are so curious about who we are and what we do. So it's called what? Our YouTube channel is called Ronnie and Liz. Kindly subscribe, subscribe and support <laughs> us. And, uh, we, uh, we're going to be having videos of um, our last trip to the Netherlands. We filmed that. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, a talk of how we met, yeah. a bit of what we do today actually. Our wedding day, how we live, our, our frustration sometimes, our business. Our business. Yeah. yeah. We have a business called Kenya Poultry Farmers in Kisumu. Um, where we deal with smallholder farmers and everything in the poultry uh, value chain. Yeah. So we also have a Facebook page, which maybe we can link. Yeah. Um, and uh, how we work with the ladies and youths uh, from the slums, how we support them. Mm -hmm. A lot of exciting things to watch. So subscribe to Ronnie and Liz, yeah. and uh, we walk through this exciting journey together. Yeah. Yeah. So you can subscribe, subscribe to, to Miss Rachel's, Rachel's channel. channel. Subscribe, 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 hit the subscribe, hit subscribe button, button and button. Yeah, give us uh, Tell us what you think of yeah. us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.